So, uh, what would possess a public school girl uh, to post on social media today a, a tweet basically showing great contempt for England fans, you know, it, it, because they're upset because they've just lost the Euros? Uh, now, uh, I think we can show you her tweet. Basically, she hasn't quite got it right. Uh, she's had millions and millions of hits. Uh, can we show the, the tweet? Basically, it's a lot of fat guys sitting around with beer guts, holding their pints. Uh, cr there we are, all crying. You see what I mean? They've got their pints, they're crying. Uh, so he's, she's taken the mickey out of England fans who are upset that uh, England lost the Euros final to Spain. Uh, also, you know, that they're all fat and bald and they drink beer and all that. Well, what's wrong with that for a kickoff? And second, and thirdly, uh, well, Lily, uh, nice tweet, shame about the wrong flag. Uh, it should be a St George's cross flag, shouldn't it? I mean, that, that, that takes in Wales and Northern Ireland and Scotland as well. Uh, but uh, I'm with Ali Ross. I mean, what do you think? I, I find this just pathetic. Um, well, you mentioned it. She went to Beedales, one of the most expensive public schools in the country. And unless you've been a member of a left-wing group, you cannot begin to understand just how much they hate the working class, yeah. despise them. And that just sh shines through in, in that tweet there. Yeah. Uh, I, lo I, I loathe these people. Look at them with their yeah. ugly appearance and their... Yeah, they're, they're big pig their boldness, their beers. And what she's, uh, you know, the, the, what she's implying, or uh, well, this will be the thought process, mm. is all these people are right wing, you know, they support Tommy Robinson and, uh, you know, and, and reform and God knows what, you know, they're, 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 they're moronic Nazi fascists. You know, they're not, they're, they're people who support Just their country yes. playing football. What's wrong with that? You went to Germany to support Scotland. I did. Lily would no doubt look down on you for that. I'd probably get away with it because England does seem to get... Uh, I look down on you for that. England, are, England's an easy <laughs> target. I should know. Um, but, but, uh, people seem to think the Scots fans are all lovable larrikins and we can pretty much do whatever we like. And it's all, oh, look at the tart now. We can pick them up there by their ears. That, though, yeah, there, there is a wee bit of that. So they all get completely drunk. <laughs> we were in a bar in Cologne, and it's every nationality in the world there watching the England-Denmark game. England score, three guys in England tops jump up, and there's sort of a... Denmark score, you, every country in Europe just goes <laughs> <Yeah>. berserk. <laughs> Everybody hates us, uh, but uh, wear it with pride. Yeah, you're doing by the way, something. Uh, by the way, uh, talking about drunken Scotsmen. So I got your picture from uh, when you drew against Denmark, was it? Yeah, uh, Switzerland. Switzerland. When you managed to stay in, and it was you, uh, a mutual friend, formerly of this parish, Gordon Smart, uh -huh. and one other. And uh, you seem the three of you do seem did seem to define that term, drunken Scotsman. Yeah, I wasn't as bad as the other two. Yeah, was, you didn't look that great. <laughs> no, I wasn't in great shape that day. It went on a hell of a long day that, because the triumph of a 1 1 draw no. has to be celebrated like we've actually won the flipping tournament. That is great. That, that is we great. knew that was as good as it was going to get. Cologne's a brilliant place as well. Yeah. A lot of fun. They, they described themselves to us as we are the fun Germans. And they said, when you, we, we know you think that doesn't exist, but we are. And it, and it lived up to that. Yeah. Great city. I don't know. I mean, but, to, you know, you, you support your team. I, I mean, I support England to an extent, I suppose. Not anymore. Uh, keep <laughs> losing. Uh, but, uh, you know, I just, people like uh, Lily Allen. You uh -huh. know, this is. Uh, it's, you're right. It, it, it's football brings out a particular snobber, snobbery, bra brand of snobbery snobber, in the middle snobber. class. Yeah, yeah. So really, uh, especially middle class and left wing, and they see a lot of working class people getting together, having fun. Yeah. I think, well, we can't have that, can we? Yeah. This yeah. must be stopped. Well, the good thing is we've got a Labour government now. They'll keep the working class in check, won't they? Oh, man, did you see Gary Neville's interview with Keir Starmer, though? Oh, no, no, I didn't. <laughs> what, what, what was it? If, if you need to induce vomiting at any stage, just have it. It's, it's, bef it's sometime before kickoff, and Gary's met his hero, Keir. Yeah. He uh, cannot hide it. It looks like he wants to hump his leg. Yeah.